legs him up against the ropes. Whoops him in. Big shoulder for Misty Hughes. Leaps over the wall and comes back. Big hip toss from the king. Kalon whips Jeff Jarrett in. Jeff comes under. Goes under again. Comes back. Beautiful front pass. Two. Kalon kicks out at two. Oh, boy. Misty Hughes has no the way at law in there. Boy, he continues to work him over. Referee Paul Davis, he's finally in and trying to help Lawler. Oh! Hughes goes in and smothers Paul in that. Oh, Lawler rolls him up in the small package. He's got him. He's got him covered. The referee Paul Davis is out in that. Gaylord kicks him off. Breaks the cover. Oh, here comes referee Frank Morrell in now. Goes over and tags Jeff Jarrett. Jeff. Whips Gaylord and goes in after the drop kick and misses. Missouri Tiger whips Jeff into the rope. Jeff comes off. Leaped over Gaylord in there and caught referee Frank Morrell. Gaylord's got Jeff in. Referee Frank Morrell is out. Lawler's trying to get him going, get his attention. Regarding lost one referee and Paul Avers. Oh! to Jeff Jarrett with that big football tackle in there. Misses. Hughes holds on to Jeff. Jeff Gaylord goes over. Now Jeff Jarrett. Jeff comes down. Here comes Jerry Waller. He waits on Mr. Hughes. Now Hughes. Jeff's got Gaylord. 15 minute pass. 45 to wrestle. 15 minute pass. Is there yeah. and Bert Prentice kind of jumped in and uh, you, you saw the result of the whole thing. The guy who brought the uh, Howard Hughes connection into town had a few words. The only good thing I can say about it is he's not here to run oh. his mouth for 20 straight minutes today. Great. Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. <laughs> I told you so, I told you so. You know, it was really great, Lawler, being in Memphis last week at Channel 5 Studios, baby. Walking down memory lane. Looking at poor old Dave Brown, the weather clown behind the desk with poor old Corey. Like I said before, Corey, you're so bad, baby. You make Dave Brown, the weather clown, look good. Looking at that old dilapidated, torn down ring right there in that studio with the big old scotch tape or whatever it was across it. Buddy, I hope you fix that ring, man. Somebody's going to get hurt in that ring. Poor old Mr. and Miss Coffee over there selling those Jerry Lawler and Jeffrey Jarrett wash and wear t-shirts, man. Looking at those 20 or 30 people in the audience. Woo, what a walk down memory lane that was. But you see, the biggest thrill I had, man, was Monday night at the Mid-South Coliseum, by the way, which I was barred from going to the Mid-South Coliseum because, you see, right before I was getting on my plane in New York City, I had a phone call, and they said, Jimmy Hart, you have been suspended for seven and a half years. You still cannot come back to the Mid-South Coliseum until Eddie Marlin lifts your suspension. I said, okay, if that's the way you want to play, baby, you're playing in the right ballpark when you're playing Jimmy Hart's ballpark. But you see, I didn't lose my $5,000. The Howard Hughes connection, baby, wiped Jeffrey Jarrett and Jerry Lawler out. We've made a laughing stock of you two guys. We've made a joke of you. You went on TV, man, and you said how big and bad you two guys were. You know, Eddie Marlin, you said they were number three in the world. Well, let me tell you, we're the big boys from New York. Look at this, baby. This is Jimmy Hart and Money Incorporated. What a great team. This is Jimmy Hart and his nasty boys. What a super team, Daddy. And now it's Jimmy Hart and the Howard Hughes connection. So let me tell you something, Eddie Marlin. 
Before it's all over, baby, I'm going to give you a heart attack, a Jimmy Hart heart attack. And I might be banned from the studios in Channel 5, but I'm going to send you a video in every week, every week, until I finally get rid of Jerry Lawler and Jeffrey Jarrett. <laughs> a video every week. I can hardly wait. Back with more after this.